Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit, I want to show you the relation between levels and floor plans. So this is a very important concept that you need to understand in Revit in order to see the relationship between the levels and the floor plans. So these are the views that you create and then the main one is the level when basically you are defining the datum in terms of the elevation for your Revit model and creating associated floor plan, RCP, structural, uh, life safety and much more view plans that are in a relation with the levels. So let's jump into Revit. We can take a look at and see how we can create the floor plans that are associated with our levels. And if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. In today's episode, I want to talk about a very important and fundamental topic in Revit. This is something that everybody has to understand in order to function very well within Revit. I want to talk about the plan views and relation to the levels. So whoever opens, some people when they open that Revit, they feel like the floor plans on the main um, kind of datum that we going about our model or our building or any project that we have, but actually it's the elevations. So the elevations set the datum for our model and floor plans gets created in relation to that elevation that you are creating um, so elevations are the most important part and it's going to show let's say the elevation of each floor level it might show the elevation of a suspended ceiling top of the wall top of the cmu wall so any important elevation that you want to show to your user you need to have elevation for it. You have to have a view for elevation. So Revit does recognize the elevation for that specific uh, area that you have. So it's not just the slab floors. You can have suspended ceiling, top of the casework, top of the cabinet, like whatever, uh, but you need that. So you guys can see we have floor plans. We have elevation. So right now, when I go and see how these are working together, um, I'll just click on north. So you guys can see, first of all, we have a bunch of levels or elevation views. And if I get close, I want to see if you guys see something. So we have some of them blue, some of them black, and also uh we can see the elevation at the bottom of it and basically start from all the way below all the way up of the building the project um the first thing if you notice i'm opening up this levels for the floors right we talked about that every single level has a relation to a floor plan so you have to have a level in order to create the floor plan so let's just start from the bottom i can see the parking I can see the parking level one, right? I can see a level one. We can see a level two. We can see level four, five, all the way, but I do not see L1. And you can see the color is black. Parapet, do not see a floor plan, the, uh, but I have the elevation. Parapet are two on top, again black, but I do not see. So you guys can see right now the difference between the blue and black. And that's because the blue means that level has an associated floor plan for that elevation. Black circle means you do not have an associated floor plan for that level. So if I click on four, let's say, so I have a floor plan for level four. If you go down to extends right here, you see right here, it basically says associated level, level four. So it means we, this floor plan has been created when we put the level floor, level four floor or level four elevation in the views. So this one generated. 
So this is a very important topic and I want everybody to kind of understand that every single plan views has an associated levels, right? So you have to have a level in order to create something, but you don't need necessarily a level like a floor plan and you guys saw right here we have these levels but actually there is nothing floor plan we don't have it over here so let's just go see how we can create levels so the first thing is you have to be in the elevation view right so you cannot go to the actual uh, basically just uh, let's say if you have a level right here so you won't be able to put uh, right there right so you cannot do anything you have to be in um, in the elevation view so let's just do uh, some exercise and also a few tips and tricks for you guys so in order to create levels I can kind of type LL um, it basically as soon as I type LL you see that kind of opens out a box for me and telling me where you want to put these elevation one important tip you cannot create elevation as I mentioned in floor plan so if I go over here and keep tapping LL and it's, it's gonna give me the error and then you can also see right here under the architecture tab all the way here datum next to the grid my level is blacked out because I cannot be over here and when I go on top of it you can see right here it says LL means just shortcut LL for the levels so I have to be in elevation so let's say I'm here I want to hit L I want to kind of put it over here this side to this side so it doesn't matter whatever you want um, and then right now my level has been created let's say what is called it just kind of follow um, you know the same naming you can change all of these we're gonna talk about those later on but right now you can see basically cr I created an elevation here and you can see it's gonna created the actual floor plan matches this so right now if I click on this floor plan it's gonna give me exactly what that elevation is that I cut the building to so let's just do it one more time uh, and as I mentioned it's blue because we have plan for it like we have a floor plan so let me do this one more time uh, let me just go a little bit higher uh, one one important note when I click on this you guys pay attention to the modify panel so if you do not want a plan view you uncheck this so basically creates a level makes it black and it doesn't have associated floor plan to it but if you want to have plan view you check this right and then basically you right here gonna tell the Revit when you create this level I want a ceiling plan that go with it I want a floor plan I want a structural plan right so you can select this if you want to have safety schematic and large plan you can identify what type of views need to be created in associated with that level right so you guys can see levels are the very important part because you are defining all the other floor plans for that elevation that you have right so right now I'm gonna do something I'm gonna say I don't want this I'm gonna just um, bring it out here I'm gonna do it here so you guys can see right now I created R8 but it is black and didn't create over there because I told Revit I don't want this I don't want a floor plan or anything associated with it and you guys notice uh, the ceiling plan for the other one also created and everything that you basically select in that plan view when you click on the level like right here if you want it basically everything so right here structural plan ceiling plan floor plan is going to be created if he says yes it's going to put it in every single one of those you can see the life safety schematic working blah 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 but if you don't want to do all of those it's fine it's not going to create it you just have a level and let's say right now you created this uh, and then you change your mind you're like okay I need views for this level how can I add so you guys can see all the way on top tab 
you can go right here uh, plan views floor plan so these are the elevation that are right here and these are the ones that I created so 8 which is right here didn't have it so I'm gonna click on it and right down at that type I'm gonna basically tell Revit what type of floor plan I need to be associated with these R8 with this elevation that I created so I'm gonna click on floor plan that's all I need right I want the other ones and then this one is just a little bit more uh, kind of specific so if you want to have um, like a different call out labels and also if you have a specific uh, view template that is created we can talk about the templates later on but if you have a specific template for that view you can select it basically over here from all of this so right now we'll just kind of stick to whatever it is it says R8 yes okay and I click on it it's gonna take a bit as you guys can see created R8 and you can see right here my floor plan R8 showed up and it doesn't have a ceiling so right now if I want to add ceiling for R8 uh, basically same thing I just come over here go to reflected ceiling plan because that's what I want select R8 hit and then R8 created for the ceiling plan so this is a very important topic um, just try to a little bit create some elevation do a cross section look at it in your model see where the elevation is and also just create a floor plan for it remove the floor plan I mean even it doesn't matter if I want to delete any of this so I can just right click and delete it like there is nothing is gonna change um, in my building I still have um, Oh, let me see just get rid of I think I did get rid of the seven uh, I think I was on the other side so I can show you guys so I still have the seven and then let's just delete eight uh, where was eight and you guys notice as soon as I added the, the actual floor plan for it the black changed to uh, blue so right now I'm gonna say I don't want this and also I don't want this right and it updates blue turned to black means I only have elevation nothing associated with that level that I have so these are a very important notes and it's gonna help you guys understand what you are looking for where you want to get your elevation how you can adjust it how you can create a, a ceiling plan or floor plan for an elevation that is in your model or even if you don't have anything first you need to create a elevation and also create the floor plans or the ceiling plans or the structural plans or the life safety plans all type of plans that are kind of matching that elevation that you need so you can convey everything that you have in your model uh, and then showcase it visualize uh, put it in like a better way to show it to the users hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching